Hi, I'm David Marshall from CVTV, and I'm here with Maddie Kegler. And I'm going to be asking her about something very interesting. Today, they were doing the blindfold pottery, and so what makes that different than just regular? Um, you can't see what you're doing, so you have to be able to feel what you're doing and feel where the clay is at all times. Is that more of a challenge? Uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot more of a challenge because you can't see if it's centered or not. <laughs> so do you prefer to do it not blindfolded? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's a lot better not blindfolded. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, thank you. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sage Poole with CVTV, and today I'm here with... Mason Forrest. And uh, today in ceramics, they were doing pottery blindfolded. How was that? Uh, it's a challenge. you got to really use your spatial like awareness to think about like what's happening inside the pot and what's happening with the walls. But uh, it ultimately, it helps me grow a lot and helps me learn. Would you prefer to do it blindfolded, or do you prefer with your eyes? Um, if I'm making something that I want to like be good, I'll do it with my eyes. But I think throwing like this and learning how to do it without the use of your eyes helps you learn a lot. Okay, thank you.